Demonstrators showing support for a man shot and killed by a police officer. Now, this local pastor is speaking out on why he says protests should not stop. 22-year-old Vernell Bing was shot and later died after police say he ran an officer's patrol car with his car and jumped out to run. Officer Tyler Landerville fired five times, one bullet hit Bing in the head. Police said no gun was found on Bing or in his car. Just in tonight, though, this letter from Justice League United. It's a national civil rights group. They're calling for a full federal criminal and civil rights investigation of Bing's death. They're backing a community effort to keep the pressure on the sheriff's office. General Force Francesca Amaker was there as community rallies continue tonight and is joining us live from downtown. Fran. Tom and Mary, a lot unfolded today. Not only did we hear about a two-page document requesting the investigation of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the state attorney's office on this incident, but we were also in an area where people were rallying against what they're calling injustice after Bing was shot. We spoke with a pastor who says they're not doing anything wrong. In fact, they need to do more rallying to get justice. Look where we are. We're on Liberty Street. Liberation or death. Those are the two words that James Muhammad of the New Black Panther says the black race should not have to choose between. What are you asking for? Justice! When do you want it? Now! Thursday evening, just hours after a gun was found a block away from the area where 22-year-old Vernell Bing Jr. was shot and killed by a JSO officer Sunday afternoon, dozens gathered to rally at this makeshift vigil, placed here in his honor. An act local pastor R.L. Gundy says is going to be necessary as the community continues to demand justice. We've been hollering on this for years. I'm not going to try to convince these young people to stop marching. I'm not going to try and convince these young people to stop protesting. Vernell Bing Jr.'s grandmother attends Pastor Gundy's church, and he says he sides with the Bing family. He says no one should be treated like an animal, which is why he says he's been asking the city to make changes since 2004. We want a citizen review board in this community, and the city council has a power to do it. They have the legislative power, and they control the births the purse of the sheriff. He says this latest shooting is another example of why the sheriff's office must install police cameras for the protection of citizens and the sheriff's office. And again, coming up at 11 o'clock, we're speaking in depth about this two-page document that was filed with the FBI today by the president of the Justice League United. You'll hear why he's saying that the state attorney's office and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office are doing conspiracy or committing conspiracy, excuse me. For now, reporting live at JSO, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. And Sheriff Mike Williams is now talking about two videos that recently went public showing corrections officers beating suspects. And we just told you last night, DeAndre Azell was seen in jail surveillance video being slammed into a wall by a corrections officer two years ago. There on the left, Myra Martinez was repeatedly punched in the stomach at the jail by an officer just last month. Some are calling for a citizen's review board, like the pastor mentioned in Francesca's report. Sheriff Williams says he doesn't believe that would work. We want the right outcome in the case. So we have to take our time. We have to look at the facts. We have to look at the evidence. And that does take time. So while I understand the, 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 the angst in the community about wanting an answer, um, I think that's really a, um, a symptom of our society today. Everybody wants everything right now. Some things take time. Well, the sheriff has said he's in favor of adding body cameras, which would help with investigations. However, at this point, they're not a part of the sheriff's office budget for next year.